There are two big themes in our new book, Who Does What by How Much. The first is that everyone has a customer. And that may sound obvious for folks who make B2C products, but for folks who don't make products directly for customers, that may seem a little weird. And so our idea of customer is the human who consumes the thing that you make. And when you start to think about your work in terms of the people who consume it, then the measure of success for the work that you do, it's that you change their behavior. And so for us, the key thing, the other key theme in our book is that your key results must be outcomes. They must be measured of human behavior to deliver business value. And that is a fundamental shift in how we think about work and how we measure success. And it makes things interesting. It makes things exciting. It delivers a autonomy and alignment to the teams, but it also makes things difficult because it's no longer a binary measurement. When you're measuring to output, which is the traditional way of measuring, right? Did you make a thing? That's a binary measure, right? You can look at the thing and say, yes, I made it, or no, I didn't make it. When you're managing to, to outcomes, to changes in human behavior, and you say something like, I'd like to increase retention rates by 50%. Well, if the team works for three months and increases retention rate by 39%, is that good enough? Is that bad? Do I reward them? Do I fire them? All these questions come up. And so it makes implementing OKRs difficult, but the fundamental themes are a human consumes the thing that you make. So everyone has a customer. And if you make that human successful, their behavior changes. So we're gonna measure those outcomes as our success criteria.